Hello and welcome to another tutorial here, uh, working with tables. And now, as I promised you in the last tutorial, we're going to be learning about how you go about working with uh, the design tab in the table. Now notice, right now on my ribbon, the table tools don't show up because I'm not in the table, but as soon as I go in the table, they come up. So let's go under the design tab. In the design tab, we have the gallery, and this is the more button that I've told you about. The more button, if you click on it, it gives you the entire gallery. Notice there's so many options to be working with. Now, since my first column and my top columns are a bit difficult, different than the other columns, I would like to go with one of these options. Okay, so here I am. The moment I click, the entire table changes. Now anything that I overwrote, like the contact list, it was in black text, I overwrote with the red, it stayed. However, notice the My Contacts that was previously left in black has now changed to white because now it goes by the default of the table's design. I can click on my table again by going clicking in the top left corner and then going to the Home tab and changing the alignment to Center. Okay and I'm now coming back to the design tab so my table is centered again I can select this contact list and use this mini toolbar that shows up we've talked about all of these things in the past tutorials that's why I'm going over these a little bit quicker so and you can go about changing the text color to however you want to change it okay now this is basically the look and feel notice how these alternate rows are colored differently this is called a banded row effect and here is the checkbox that is checked banded rows now notice when I uncheck it by left clicking here it's all down to the same color now let's turn on the banded columns now notice how the col columns are alternating if I do a banded column and a banded row combination notice how they alternate as well by row and they alternate by columns if I turn off banded columns notice it only is banded row now if I uncheck the first column. Now, first column also becomes like any other column. So, if it's checked, it's different. Similarly, the header row, if I uncheck it, the header row's special effects goes away. If I click it, it comes back the special effects for the header row according to this design. If you pick a different design, you may get different look and feel. So, now if I go about selecting this guy, first name, middle initial, last name, font, I've selected the entire row except for the My Context column. So now I'm going under shading and I'm saying, okay, I would like to give it a little bit of a different shading than the rest of the table to show that this is column heading. So I have all of these different options to choose from, or I can actually go under more colors. If I go under more colors, I can actually choose the intensity of the color that I want to go with. Okay, so I have all of these little options available to me. Or I can go under standard colors and I can choose one of the standard colors. So whichever one I would like to go, I can just click OK and notice the change has taken place. So now it's a dark and dark, so I would like to go with a little lighter text. So I can simply go to the Home tab and I can switch to a lighter color. Okay, so all of these things could be done when you are in the Design tab. So this lets you select a design and this lets you play around with your design and this lets you change the bordering options so for example if I would like my contacts to be boxed out right now uh, it's not really boxed out on the, on, um, on the top and the bottom so if I'm in the cell and I go under borders and I say okay I would like you to have an outside border so notice it is now a little bit boxed out the effect is a bit different than what it was before so I have basically created a boxing out option. If I don't like it, I can always undo it. So you can actually border your cells however you want to border them. You can border um, um, the top border, left border, right border, bottom border, no borders. You want to remove borders, all borders, outside borders, inside borders, all of these different variable options uh, for you to play around with, which we're going to try to explore more, uh, maybe in PowerPoint, uh, where we're going to be looking into tables again. But that's all for now for a little bit of exposure to tables in Microsoft Word. Uh, in the next tutorial about tables, we're going to be learning how you can take text and convert plain text into a table format in just a few clicks. Thank you for watching this tutorial.